You're very welcome back to Red Business in Focus with Cork's local enterprise offices, where we're meeting entrepreneurs with big ambition. And this week, we are joined by Pat Murphy of CK53 Designs. Pat is a self-taught woodworker who has developed and honed his collection over the last number of years. His work is really incredible. It's stylish and practical and gives a modern interpretation of traditional wooden items. Pat, how are you? I'm very good, Jonathan. How are you? I'm good. It's lovely to meet you. Your stuff really is incredible. Thank I'm not just much. saying that because uh, you're sitting in front of me. You have 30 seconds to begin with so, to describe your company. Okay. I suppose my name is Pat Murphy and I run a small woodworking business in Killary, County Cork called CK53 Design. I suppose like anyone woodworking started out as a hobby for me. So it wasn't until 2017 when the CK53 Design brand was, was born. Um, my tagline is handcrafted wooden gifts for the home, where I design and create certain decorative items like what you see here, as well as more practical items like chopping boards, coasters, lamps, etc. Um, I also do co commission based work and thanks to social media and um, and all of that, it's busier. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Well, that's, that's okay. Thirty seconds. That's a, you, you, you did. Yeah. The, you did what you needed to do. Why CK fifty three? What's the brand? Okay, CK fifty three goes back to my old job where I was. Believe it or not, I was a butcher in a previous life, and um, CK fifty three was my CK for Cork. Fifty three was my license number with Cork County Council, <laughs> and and uh, and the old building um, turned out to be my first workshop. So it was just an order, tip of the hat to my old life as a butcher. Okay, so this is this is the second coming of fat, then, is it? Correct. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So I suppose the butchery business was in our our life for maybe a hundred years. So it was just a small thing, to, just to keep the name there, you know. You obviously are good with your hands. Mm -hmm. uh, both professions would require that. But mm -hmm. when did you realize that there's a commercial opportunity here, that I'm able to do things perhaps that A, people want to buy, and B, others mightn't have the ability? Okay, so like I said, my business was born in 2017, but I still didn't go fully, fully, fully professionally into it. Um, COVID, the start of COVID, when I produced a, a little item down the floor, a little reindeer, I put them up on social media and uh, I suppose in the space of a couple of months, I saw maybe 600 sets of them. And that was the start of, of what I knew then, that um, what I had or what I could do was viable and doable. Is it incredibly time consuming? Uh, to, to it, it can, it, the time consuming part of it is in the, uh, I suppose, to produce the first product. Then you have to, you have to go into it and see, right, can I produce this in multiples at a cost that's affordable to everyone. So the, the time consuming part of it is in the initiation. And then when you, when you nail the, the process, it becomes, it becomes easier. Uh, you've got other products on display here as well. You've got the butter knife, which is a wooden butter knife and a, and a little board next to it. But I love the robins because the little card reads, uh, robins appear when loved ones are near. Are you an old sentimental old thing? I'm, I'm going all soft, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, it, I suppose during COVID, I was thinking about we were at home and uh, I was thinking about loss and I was thinking about people. And I, I started to look around and there's a, a, there's a huge affinity with the Irish, with the Robin and loss. And I just I sat down one night and I said, right, I can make things out of timber. Let's make a little Robin. And again, I suppose the contemporary side of it is the colours I introduce and, and the different timbers. And the card, I think, just adds to the whole to the whole um, package. Well, we have three little different robins here. Yes. Are they made from different wood? Correct, yeah. So I use all sustainably sourced hardwoods. So I like to think of these as heirloom um, pieces. So we have walnut, cherry, maple, um, and, uh, and the stand itself is in cherry wood. So really and truly, it's, I suppose, it's I would consider it to be a high-end decorative piece, but again, an heirloom that could be passed down. And I can also um, engrave uh, a person's name on them, if so be it, if does it loss. You it's, know? it's another example of a COVID business that somebody set up during COVID and has grown it during COVID. Um, I'm presuming all of this is for sale online, is it? Yes, it is. I've just launched my own website, CK53 Design. And again, going back to the whole COVID thing, um, there was a huge influx of people buying Irish, made local and champion green and all of that. And there was a huge campaign by the local enterprise office as well about um, buying Irish and buying local. And that has really turned my business um, inside out. 
you, you, you look like a man who's never gone back. Oh. I, I, I'm guessing this this is it. Butchering is behind you. Butchering is behind me, and I, I don't, and I, I've often said it, I haven't gone to a job in years. I go out to my shed, and I enjoy myself for the day. You know, and that's the difference. Well, honestly, it is one of the nicest things we've had to feature so far. Um, so congratulations on the business. We wish you and everybody continued success. What's the website if people want to buy uh, CK53design.ie. Okay. Um, and, the and, and they get the little robins and they get the little reindeer and they get the butter knife and loads of other things. Everything on it, loads of stuff. Thank Pat you Murphy much. of CK53, thanks so much for joining Thank us. you very much, Jonathan. Well, that's it for this week. Join us next time where we'll be joined by TJ Hegarty of Breakthrough Maths. TJ is going to share his journey with us. Breakthrough Maths is in its first year of business. They've already hired 20 staff. They're teaching 300 students each week across primary and secondary schools. And it's going from strength to strength in a real short period of time. We look forward to hearing his story next time on Red Business and Focus with Cork's local enterprise offices.